Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Stage. I can't handle this fire trial. I'm getting out of here. And fighting another one of these guys. Okay. What was the point of that? Well, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, we got a treasure here. Pretty good piece of headgear. Uh, I am going to be giving that to Garrett, but his headgear is cursed, so I can't remove it right now. So, I'll take care of that later. But, yeah. I should have gotten it in the previous episode, but I actually didn't plan on getting this far in the recording. But then, it was taking me less time than I thought it would to get through all that stuff. So, I just kind of winged it going all the way through here. Ow! Well, that's okay. You can get one shot there. By Felix. That's how it's done. Okay, so last time we... What is it? We lit this torch here. So we use that to light the other one. And that way we can... Well, do something with that wall down there. Didn't really finish the job. I wonder what would happen if I tried that again. I don't think that would actually do anything. I, I would imagine that because... Well, what you're supposed to do is you burst on the wall once you've gotten cracked a little bit there. So how do they reset the rooms after someone goes through all this? What, just alchemy magic or synergy or whatever? Just reconstruct the wall or rewind time on the wall or something? I mean, they gotta reset the puzzles at some point in time, but... Okay, so let's see here... We have more enemies to fight, why not? But yeah, we got more slider puzzles. And this one actually isn't that tricky. I'm kind of surprised that they have random battles in this room, though. Usually they... What is it? Usually when we got puzzles like this, they don't have the random battles, so that way you can actually focus on solving the puzzles instead of worrying about all the battles and then forgetting where the hell you left off or something like that. So what we need to do there is move that statue in the way of the flame there so we can actually get by. And yes, I know, in the last episode I screwed up against the Akamana and used the wrong elements to kill it. I just saw the purple there, and I assumed they were weak to Jupiter, and yeah, I forgot. But that's okay. I don't need Jin kills on absolutely every enemy. I think as far as, like, the bare minimum for what I want to do, I would like to get Felix up to level 40, so that way he can learn a particular synergy that'll be very useful against the final boss and some one of the super bosses as well there. But alright, got that in the way. Let's try this one again, pal. Oh, right, there you go. Man, even Shine sounds like it hurts. I mean, the name doesn't, but the sound effects do. I like that. You gotta make the attack sound like you're really kicking someone's ass. Now let's see. We need to get through, through that flame there, but right now there's no way we can do that. If only there were an item that could let me reflect the flame, so that way I could dash right past it, but now that's that's another game of yours. Not this game. Well, we do have a mirror shield in this game, but it doesn't do anything there. Okay, so now I think that's all I need to do. Of course, it would help if I can, if I could remember to reset my gen after every battle, which I am doing a very poor job of. Huh, I didn't realize uh, Deadly Poison, the text there, gets cut off because of the length of the uh, name of the enemies. I'm surprised it doesn't, like, freeze it up or something. Like, I know Disgaea, at least the PSP version, I think, had a bug with that, with, like, if you did, like, six or more than six counterattacks back and forth, back and forth like that, that it would scroll off the screen and 
the game would lock up or something. Although I never personally experienced that. Wow, you're barely able to kill that guy with 282 HP. Go Ivan! But alright, we made it to the other side easily enough. Oh, that's it! Okay. Well, that was easy. Yeah, this part isn't quite as long as the first half of the dungeon. Just got one more to go. I'm kind of also reminded of, with the scrolling, or the text scrolling off the screen, I'm also kind of reminded of at least the first Final Fantasy Legend game, where they did that sometimes. It didn't scroll off the screen, though. If you had too much text, it would just wrap around to the next line or something like that, and it would look kind of weird. I mean, you could read it, but yeah, it went around like that. But all right, more Firebirds to help with my leveling needs. Awesome. Hmm, I think Felix can just kill the guy on his own, so let's not even bother with Garrett. Haha! -ha! I'm surprised you don't deal as much damage as Ivan there. But I guess Ivan, being a Jupiter Adept, he probably has more Jupiter power, so I guess that's why. Someone wanted me, or someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, you forgot to show off the little text you get here for the Jupiter one, at least. But I'll show all the other ones, as long as I'm going around to the last one anyway. Oh, yeah, I kind of noticed in this fire lighthouse. Oh, okay, well, that would explain a little. But all right, let's go into the final trial of the Mars lighthouse. Yeah, this one's actually going to require a combination of Mars and Venus synergy to get through. Whee! There's no more treasure in the lighthouse, by the way. I've already gotten all of it. Okay, so with this part, we've got three statues. Only one of them leads to the right way. Now, let's see. You see how on the statue there, I'm not moving it? Just to the left and to the right of the statue, you can kind of see two vertical lines show up there. That means that... Oh. How did I take damage from that? That isn't supposed to happen. Let me try that again. Huh. Okay, never mind. Well... There's a flame spitter behind that, but, well, my idea was that, uh, what is it? You could use the new synergy to see the statue, and then you'd see the two vertical lines to the left and the right of it, so you would know if there was a flame spitter behind it, but, well, this one doesn't, so that's how you could tell that one was real. But, let me try that again here. Okay, so there's a flame spitter behind this one. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why that didn't work in the previous room, but the idea is that if you see those two vertical lines by the statue there, that means there's a flame spitter behind it. Don't move it out of the way, or you're going to get your ass set on fire. But yeah, I, I don't know what happened there with the with the previous room, yeah. Okay. But yeah, they do that a lot in... throughout the game, really, where they got little things like that. Oh, hey, look! Another ultra rare drop. Oh, I've already gotten one of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just... getting rare drops like candy! What do you think this is? Easter? Well, yeah, kind of, I guess. But all right, okay, so here we got a flame spitter up there, and we need to get these, well, one of these blocks in the way. So let me see what we got. Where is it? I gave that to Isaac. Yeah. 
So what we need to do is get these two blocks from below up there to fill the gaps there so that way we can push the upper uh, block in the way of the flamethrower there. I would think they would have had some sort of building codes with all this fire around here. I mean, even though the whole place is made out of brick. But still, I mean, having all this fire all over the place, don't you guys got, like, sprinklers around here or something? I mean, you built this place right in the middle of the Arctic Wastelands or something. Oh, cow. Okay, so those stairs lead back to the previous floor. But there is a doorway on the far right of the hallway with all those... What were they? All those flamethrower statues or whatever. So what we need to do here to get past these flamethrowers is just wait for it to pass by. Or, well, use sand, wait for it to pass by, and then get out of the way. Yeah, kind of hard to set sand on fire, I would imagine. I'm sure someone's going to point out an example where you actually could do something like that in real life, but... All right! So now we've lit up all the, well, the four torches there, so that, well, where we, well, what is it? Yeah, where all the four paths branched off from, that can take us straight to the end now. We can go right to the final boss real easily. At the very least, though, I would want to rest up, but as we all know in JRPGs, when the world is in imminent peril, it's side quest time! And now that we have the teleport synergy and all the gin that we can get at Mars Lighthouse, let's see what we can do. The place where I want to go is right over there, so let's head on over to the Apogee Islands. Not just because it's in the vicinity of where I want to go, but because they got nice little music going on here too. I like it. But alright. How much synergy do you got? Yes, I am going to use the inn just for two synergy, even though I'll probably get them back just by walking around for a little while, but it's just really bothering my OCD right now. So once you've gotten the teleport synergy, there's uh, three dungeons, if I recall correctly, that you can enter that are much tougher than the Mars Lighthouse. And there's also uh, one dungeon that I could have gone into before, but the boss is sufficiently tough to where I would rather have just saved it for now to deal with it. So let's see, we got the curse on Garrett there, so let's take care of that. That will be the last of the cursed equipment that I will be using now that we've got the new hood for him. That'll help him out a bit. Oh, no, I'm done here. I don't need to talk to anyone else there, but yeah, we got the Alistair Hood. I don't care about the haunting effect there. I just care about the defense we get out of it. Awesome. And I'm just going to leave my setup the way I have it right now. I think I've got everything all set and ready to go. The next dungeon that I'll be going to mostly, or I think entirely, has enemies, as far as random enemies go, that are weak to Mars or Mercury, neither of which uh, Garrett can exploit there. So that's why I'm still going to keep him on the Elven shirt, so that way he could soften up enemies for the others to kill. Now, if you recall, well, maybe not way earlier in the game, but quite a bit earlier in the game, there was that pebble trading sequence side quest that I did that ultimately led to the turtle here that could take us to a little cave. And I think, if I recall correctly, there was just a genie that I got out of it at the time, and that was it. But now that we have, or well, if you recall, there was one of those little symbols on the ground, one of those teleporter pads or whatever that we couldn't do anything with at the time. But now that we got the teleport lapis, we can! And there's a super boss way at the end of the place. And it's totally worth it to go all the way through it. Although this really isn't much of a dungeon. 
but it is there. And I want to take the guy down. I don't think this guy's tougher than the regular final boss. That is one thing I do like about this game. I mean, yeah, the super bosses are pretty darn tough, but the final boss is still pretty damn tough. I mean, it's not like, whoa, all these guys massively outclass the normal final boss of the game. No, no, not. I mean, one of them does, but the others, eh, they're tough, but. I don't know if they're massively more powerful than the regular final boss. But alright, we got some new enemies here. Let's see. Chimera Worm. That guy is weak to Mars. And yeah, there's really nothing special about them. They got some synergy they could use, but nothing extraordinary there. Okay, let's see. I don't think Felix is going to be able to kill Drudge there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crowd control the guy while I uh, regenerate my synergy from hovering around everywhere. Drudge, by the way, is also weak to Mars, but it has a lot of HP. I'm probably going to have to throw most of my party at the guy in order to kill him. So let's see what we can do. Hmm. Okay, so Garrett... Yeah, why don't you just hit the guy just a little bit, and I think that'll be enough. Usually I need, like, four hits to take this guy down, because he's got uh, 672 HP. Okay, three hits, not bad, not bad. But yeah, that's why I wanted Garrett to take care of that. By the way, a Drudge can inflict the... What is it? I think the hunt? Yeah, the hunt status and instant death. So you want to watch out for that guy, make sure you take him out, or at least use Ground or Petra on him, so that way he won't get a turn to even do anything against you. Or I guess there's some gin that can seal its synergy, or something rather like that. Whoops, forgot to reset my gin. Try that one again. Well, fortunately, the battles we got with this guy, not so tough. We can one shot him pretty easily. Everyone else, not so much. Alright, and we got another new enemy, Wonderbird. Guess what element these guys are weak to? If you say fire, I'm gonna hit you. No, no. Just like all the other ones, this one is weak to water or mercury. The oh! Well, now he's probably going to run away. Or... Yeah. Do that. What the? Ow? Hey, can I get a turn? What the hell? Holy cow! I mean, I know this guy's fast, but... Wow. Okay, let's see. How's my agility looking? Okay, so Ivan... He'll still be faster than... The bird there. I meant to use another uh, gin against that guy, but no! Hmm. Okay, you can probably do that, but let me see. Hmm. Is there a way I can get in some healing? No, I'll just have to have my reserves take care of that. I mean, I can use flower, but that's about it. Yeah, let's just go with that. Oh, wow, well, that's good. <laughs> I didn't expect that, that flower to heal me that but, yeah, just like all the other cousins of those birds, they give massive, massive experience, they can run away. This one evidently can kick your ass if you misclick, or whatever the equivalent is for a council controller or something. Okay, let's see, what do we got there? Let's see, okay, yeah. Heal that little bit up. Okay, I think we're good. And more of these guys. Whee! Let's see, other than those multi-targeting spells, uh, the Wonderbirds, they could debuff your attack stat, but that's not anything extraordinary to worry about there. Okay, hmm, we got a little statue up there. Can barely see it. Let's see, what did I do with that one synergy? Tremor! Okay, let's see, let's save just before dealing with that. Now this one is really fickle. 
You, you gotta get in just the right spot with Tremor in order to shake the statue. Or I could just get it on the first try. Game? I will take that, though. I will take Heaven to deal with a random battle that quickly to shake the little genie out of there in order to get it on the first try because I was practicing this in my test runs and just earlier today I could not get that damn genie to pop out of there you gotta like be on just the right pixel or something ridiculous like that in order to get the statue to shake enough to unleash mini boss time against a mercury genie Okay, let's see. This guy is not going to be too difficult to deal with. Let me see. This one, I think, has 920 HP, if my source is correct there. Let's, uh, yeah, crowd control it. Maybe get a little more damage in there. Yeah, let's go with that. By the way, with Ground and Petra, whenever you use them, they'll only stop the first action that an enemy would take in a round. So, like, if I was fighting against... What was that? Yeah, if I was, like, fighting against the Wonderbird and I tried to use Ground or Petra on it, it... Well, as you saw, it gets three turns per round. And it would only stop their first action. They would still be able to take multiple other actions. So, not so useful against them. But all right, we get another genie that we need to add to our collection. By the way, uh, I forget if I said so before, but there are 72 gen total between the two games. And you're going to need all of them in order to unlock one of the super bosses. But all right, we get another Mercury attack gen. I don't think I'm going to do anything with that with my setup, but it's available there. But how long do these long, narrow hallways go on for? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! I promise the other Superboss dungeons will be more interesting.